Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create SendGrid accounts in 2023. Of course, SendGrid is a powerful email marketing platform that allows you to send, receive, and even track emails efficiently. So, in this guide, we'll walk you through the process or through the essential steps to get started with SendGrid. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and visit the SendGrid website. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use here Brave Browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open this browser, Basically, just go to the URL section and type send grid and hit the enter button. Once you do so, make sure to click on this first link, which is send grid, email delivery, API, marketing servers. Once you click on it, of course, you'll be taken to their home screen or main screen. Since you want to create a send grid account, maybe you don't know much about it. So before creating an account, make sure to familiarize yourself with the same grid and even scroll down to read more information about the website as you can see so email api by developers for developers uh, in initiative email marketing campaigns seamless integrated with our partners and major platform like microsoft azure uh, google cloud platform heroku and amazon web service and as you can see you can deliver emails that converts with email api and marketing campaigns so as you can see you can see all the api features and see all the marketing features from here let's just show you as an example or you can see that by your own, of course. If you are interested about something, you can pause the video and check it all by your own. Because I'm not going to read all of that because this will take forever. As an example, this is for API features or email API features. And this is for email marketing as an example. So I'm just pausing for a second at each page. And you can, of course, see that by your own. Now, of course, if we want to simply create an account, sorry, I've got out. Uh, you'll have to go to the top right corner and simply, as you can see here, click on start for free. If you have an account, you'll have to click on sign in. But if you are on this video, you don't have an account. So basically, click on start for free. And as you can see here, you'll have start to start by creating an account. Start in, but as an example, sign up for free, no credit card required. So let's get started. So of course, let's just type an email address that we are going to use as an example. And here, I'll just like uh, use, I don't know, let's just use like, I don't know, something I use. So I can receive emails on it as an example at gmail.com. And of course, if you want to use your email as username, make sure to check this option. But if you don't, just uncheck this option and then you will have to enter a username for yourself. So I'll just type those first three. Make sure your username does not have any spaces. So just remove those spaces. I'll just some, simply type in my username like Mr. Tesser. Why not? Tesser. And now let's just go to the password. So on the password, of course, make sure it has at least 16 color characters. So we will just go and do that as an example and make sure to pass 16 char characters then make sure to check this option that i am not a robot of course if you want to see your password you can always click here to see it i'm not going to so i will not re reveal my password so just click on it and as you can see here you'll have to go select scar so let's just select this this and i guess those were all the cards maybe this and this also again and that's it. Click on verify. As you can see, it's verified. Now, make sure to read the terms of service and privacy notice. Then you will have to go and check this option once you read all of that and agree to it. As you can see, it may like uh, look a lot, but you will have to read it just in case you have any problem with the future with them. So you will be aware of every right that you have. And because a lot of people don't read it. So make sure to read all of that privacy notice and terms of use as you can see as i said it's probably both will take you around like 40 minutes or something like that you can even use like uh chat gbt or any ai tool that you know to summarize this for you or make it in a video or something like that if you don't want to read it all of that so just make sure that you know your rights and you will not get scammed or something like that this is not likely to happen but just in case so once you agree to all, both of those, just check this option that I accept the terms of service and I have read the privacy notice, then click on create account. So once you click on create an account, of course, here 
you will have to go and tell them about yourself. Keep in mind that if your account is not created or it did not want to create, that means your account or the, the SendGrid is not available in your country yet, you will have to go and contact the support to make it available in your country. Here, as you can see, for us, your account has been created. Welcome to Twilo SendGrid. We're happy to have you. And just keep in mind that you don't have to use a VPN in case you are, this is not supported in your country because you may get banned or banned. So here, let's start by filling our first name. I'll just name myself here, Tess. Last name, I'll name like Tess, sir. For you, make sure to enter accurate information. Company name, I'll just name it Tess. Here for the company websites, make sure to add before your company website the HTTP or HTTPS depending on the website or your website, what, it's, what does it have. So for me, I'll just type here, let's example, HTTPS, two dots, two slashes, and I'll just type here, test.com. Of course, you can add the www dot, uh, or you don't have to add it depending on whatever you want. So, or I'll just type like a domain name that I have. Why not? And here, make sure to go and add the country code uh, depending on where wherever you're living at. And after that, make sure to simply go and of course add a phone number. So here, as an example, I'll just go and get a random number here. And what is your role? Are you a developer, CEO, marketer, or other, depending on whatever you are? And how many emails do you send per month from this to this? Or this one so depending on whatever you want for me i'll just choose the minimum here and how many employees work at your company from one to five hundred or from one thousand one to five five thousand from five hundred one to one thousand or more than five thousand and one i'll just choose the minimum again and click on get started once i click on get started of course i'll be taken to this page so now as you can see you'll have to go and check your email and they will send you a link to set up your two-factor authentication and of course, you will have to follow the steps to complete the setup, and it only takes a few minutes. So the two-factor authentication protects your account requiring your password and authenticator or authentication code when you log in. So simply, I'll just go to my email provider and get that. So as you can see, once you have it here, just simply click on that. Once you click on it, of course, you will be taken here. So make sure to check this option that says I'm not a robot and click on I'm getting started. For me, as I said, I'm get I guess banned again because I'm using a VPN. For you, make sure to do not use a VPN if it's not supported in your country. Once you've done this, of course, you will have your account set up and you just created your account successfully. So if you reach the sponsor of this video, you can start sending emails and you are ready, of course, now to start using uh, using SendGrid. So, and you can create, of course, template, templates and set up your campaigns and track even performance of your email. So that's going to be it for me today. Of course, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I will see you in the next video.